What I've done, I got a piece of one inch square tubing and I've marked it with a slight angle here. Instead of making it square, I've made it a little bit of an angle. I've drilled a half inch hole all the way through it. And that way I've got a half inch shoulder bolt that will go all the way through it. And when I cut that off, I will also cut this end piece out and it'll make it a three size a three-sided fixture that I can weld to the frame. And then I've taken a piece of the same seven eighths inch tube that I built the frame out of, and I drilled a one half inch hole in it for the shoulder bolt to go through, which this will end up being my kickstand. And with this part right here being cut out, it will be able to pivot like so. And when it comes up like this, it will actually hit on this back part, which the metal will still be here, and that will cause it to stop. And of course the angle is just so that it doesn't come straight off the bike, it leans forward a little bit to help it prevent it from falling over in the event that you're on a little bit of a hill or something and the bike decides it wants to roll forward an inch, the kickstand doesn't automatically collapse up. It's already kinked, or not kinked, but leaning forward a little bit. All right, see how that works? And I'll have a nylock on this so it can't unscrew itself and come apart. That'll be fully up, that'll be fully down. And of course I still have to cut this part off to the proper length when I, I figure out how long it needs to be and weld the spring attachments on it. All right, we're just gonna check for free movement. Sweet. And then we're gonna see what happens when we put the springs on it. So give me a minute. All right, let's have a look at that. Seems good. Doesn't come up as much as I'd like, but you know what? Oh, look at there, sagging. She's sagging. Gotta take some uh, thought. Gonna have to think on that a little bit, see if I can't correct it. Anyway, there we go. All right. I had to modify it a little bit because it wasn't working out the way I did it the first time. By golly, I think that'll work. Yes, sir. That looks fine to me. So I took a carpenter staple and ground it down a little bit and just welded it right to the frame right there to make a loop to hook the spring on. And that pulled it out far enough that it wasn't hitting the nut on the back, that's what the problem was the first time. The springs were rubbing on the nut and it would go halfway and be fine, but then it would have to wrap around that bolt and it wasn't wanting to work. So, you clean that up a little bit. It's got a big old booger, slag booger on it. But anyway, that'll all come before I finish paint. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know that'll sink right in the That'll sink right in the mud if I ever stop in the dirt. So I gotta put a little round pad or something underneath it there so it can't squish straight into the dirt. Cause I'm not always gonna be on concrete, you know? So yeah, make a little pad for the bottom of that and color good. Yeah, yeah. All right. You remember me saying that I was gonna make a pad to go into that kickstand? Well, the bike needs something that when I'm not around, it's able to put its foot down. So, here's what I did. 
<laughs> what do you think of that? Think that'll work? Let's have a look. There it is in place. Let's see if I can zoom in on it for you. Just gotta weld it on there. Springer bike's gonna have feet of its own. <laughs> you gotta remember, I'm doing this for my own entertainment. And if I can't have fun, what's the use, right? Okay, anyway, there it is. Let me know if you like that. I'm gonna weld it on there. Yes, sir. Feet first. <laughs>